Well, last semester I took an honors FIG, the Politics and Protest FIG, and it was a great experience because it was 19 people and we were all in the same three classes and we had discussion together for our one bigger lecture. It was a great mix of classes, everything kind of connected together and, they made a, and the professors made a really big effort to make sure that we are connecting everything we learned in the other classes. Things that FIGs do really well is they incorporate um, different aspects of each class and so they all kind of intertwine and they all make sense together and you start to see patterns in classes you're taking that aren't in a fig so this semester I'm not in a fig and I can see connections between my British history class and cultural French aspect of my French class and it's really interesting to be able to make those connections and I don't know that I would have been able to do that without the fig. Some people's experiences that I've heard who go into these figs just because they seem it, they think it's more of just like a group of students together or a group of classes that is really convenient for them doesn't it doesn't like reach out to them the same as it would for somebody who specifically wanted to discuss and follow those interests. I think if you find a fig that you really like that really screams out to you, go like really try your best to get into that class because. I mean, the first thing I noticed about it was it was definitely opening me to the college experience of actually being able to take classes that I was really interested in. You get the support of 20 people who are in all of your classes, study groups are great, um, and outside of class too, you just become really close with everyone in the fig. And I also really was able to take advantage of that small, like, intimate relationship that you have with the professor being only 25 students. Um, being taught by an actual professor at the school. Um, he's helped me with advising for my major um, and helped with advising for classes as well as actually network with, for me with a couple of his colleagues as far as research opportunities for next year. That relationship I wouldn't have gotten if I didn't have my FIG class, so I'm really, really happy that I was able to take it. Um, so one of the benefits of having honors advising was that I got to um, have such one-on-one -on -one time with people who were able to kind of point me in the direction of figs, which are actually the perfect fit for someone like me who has a lot of interests and is really, was looking to explore in my freshman year. Taking the honors fig was honestly the best decision I made in my short college career so far because I got to know so many awesome people who are in my fig and especially uh, since it was a thematic fig, you get to know people who have your interests. I originally did not think that I was going to be a psychology major and I took a fake which included one psychology course and I absolutely loved it and that's what I'm going to do now. Being at a fake was one of the best experiences of college. I absolutely uh, loved getting to know that group of kids who shared the same passions as me and also got to explore my interests in poli-sci and foreign language outside of the fake. So, it was all together a great experience and kind of set me on a traje trajectory of where I wanted to go. It would definitely be an experience worth doing because last semester I got to take a lot of classes that I may or may not get to take again with a bunch of people who I still talk to and probably will talk to for the rest of my college career. Do figs. You'll really appreciate them and you get to meet some awesome people and some awesome, awesome faculty.